All right, so we're here with Justin Dietrich. We're going to assume the starting right guard for this upcoming 2022 season. All right, Justin, you're a day away from fall camp opening. Um, I'm just going to start real basic. How has your summer been? Talk to us. Yeah, I mean, what was the offseason Great summer with the team. Um, kind of carried over from spring with Coach Wiley and them. Or winter, I should say, winter conditioning. And I uh, did skip a beat coming into summer, so it was just as fun as the winter and uh, definitely grew as a team, as a, as a unit. And, uh, Really excited to go into the season. That's awesome, awesome feeling. This year. You know, culture change has been the buzzword, buzzwords around here. And you put into your words what culture change is, what it's meant to you. Yeah. Um, a lot, I mean, shoot, so much has changed here. Not just culture, you know, just team roster, coaching, uh, admin. A lot has changed over the last few months. So it's just been being able to stick together, uh, take new guys in as they come, and make them feel a part of the team and the brotherhood and make something really special here. Um, so I think that would be the best way to answer kind of culture is that we've been able to come close together with so many new people so fast and build right. something special. So I've heard at, at Media Day, I heard Caleb and Shane use the words discipline over default. Yep. Is that a is that the t new, team's new mantra this year? Yeah, pretty much. Um, I don't know if they gave you the rundown on it. But, well, they uh, gave me their their yeah, their just, thoughts on it. It's kind of default uh, actions or uh, reactions lose uh, discipline. Thoughts discipline. Plays discipline. Going to class on time. Practice on time. Being where you where you're supposed to be. Where you're supposed to be there. That's uh, that all will win so for a team it's, it's always making a conscious decision to to choose a discipline route over uh, just doing something that's easier and that's not something that's a challenge for you but ha has that been slower for some people to gravitate towards i mean everyone has their own way to process and learn things um, everyone has their own way of how they adapt um, to change so I wouldn't say it's any slower for anyone else. It's just it's different. It's a different circumstance for everyone else. So let me rephrase the question: Have you had to pull anybody towards the finish line without mentioning, obviously, without mentioning names? Um, I mean, the buying culture right now is, is as high as it's ever been. So okay. Obviously, as a leader, um, I kind of just got to. Sometimes I, I even have to get pulled along, you know. Okay. I, I come to lift a little, a little tired or something, and someone has to come hide me up real quick. But uh, it's a team thing more than an individual, just me. It, it, everyone has to do it. It's everyone's role. It's what you do when you sign up for football, you know, you can't can't do it all yourself. So I think it's been awesome to see young guys grow as leaders and old guys grow to be, be better leaders on this team just so we can raise that culture one, one step higher. On the younger players, who are some of the younger guys that have, you know, caught your attention and said, hey, you know what, this guy really made a step from last year to this yeah, year? I mean, a lot of the, you know, a lot of the uh, younger old linemen, definitely. Um, one, for example, Mason Murphy. Uh, I've, been, I've been lifting with him uh, throughout the summer and stuff. I asked Coach Wiley if I could do that because the kid's really talented. He's going to be a special player. And um, he's, he's matured this summer a lot, and I'm excited to see what he can do this year. Uh, Andrew Millick has grown. He's, he's getting pretty beefy and strong. And uh, Same with Caden Stevens, Dewark. Uh, Gino and Jason, too. I mean, man. A lot, of these, a lot of these guys have grown to be better leaders and better players this summer. And just kind of praise to the culture, I guess, of the team. So Now, you know, in the past, we've heard that you know Justin Dietrich is our most valuable player on the offensive line, maybe even the best player on the line. Talk, give us your thoughts on knowing you know, you're finally going to get that chance to start for the full season. How much does that mean to you? Everything yeah, you've been through. I mean... Fingers crossed, uh, kind of have a good fall camp. Um, but I'd, I'd be happy to, to start this year wherever they need me. Um, just right just, guard the spot. We'll find out. You know, and it, I've kind of always been that versatile guy. So, and I love that position it's so much. It's it's been an honor to do that for however many years now. So right. I'm excited to see what happens with this fall camp with this group and see who the best five are and, and see uh, also just backups. You know, I mean, 
it's going to take a village to win, so um, guys are going to need to step up and, and be ready to play. Now, is it different having to block for a quarterback of like a Caleb Williams who more mobile can, uh, can, can escape a lot easier than many other quarterbacks? Is that more challenging blocking for somebody like that? Um, I mean, it, it is a little different in, in pass pro. Just sometimes, you know, uh, kind of lose sight. Just peripheral, you see a little dash of light go off. And you're like, holy crap! Oh, he's running. So um, yeah, it's definitely cool. It has its perks. Um, I'm excited to see what Caleb can do in games. He's a talented player. Really athletic. Um, and I think he's going to ball out this year. So. I'm excited to see him back there, and with Miller, I mean, he took humongous strides this year in, in spring ball, and, and he's also going to be a special player one day, and I, I love Miller so much. He's my locker buddy, so, okay. right now. Um, just a couple more questions. So, on the defensive side of the ball, uh, you line up against these guys during PRPs, and obviously we'll be getting a little bit more physical here as fall camp opens tomorrow. Talk to us about the guys on the defensive line, the linebackers that, you know, if fans are concerned about the defense being the Achilles heel, maybe why it shouldn't be? Yeah, I mean, um, there's definitely a lot of vets on that side now. Uh, it's, it's an older group for sure. Raylan Goforth has been here three years playing. I think now it's his fourth season. Shane Lee has experience at Bama. You get Mello transferring from Auburn. You get uh, Thule, who's an unbelievable athlete. Um, Special player, uh, Nick Figueroa, who's really special too, consistent and just blue collar player. Uh, you got Jamar, you got Cody, you got all these D linemen, Earl, Tyrone. I think they just built this kind of this squad of, of transfers and guys that have stayed. And I think it's going to be a special group. Um, and I think Coach Grinch has done a good job in, in making sure that their culture on their side of the ball is, is high um, and very disciplined. Not to say the offense isn't, but uh, you know, defense, you got to be a little crazy. Right. And solo, I forgot to mention one, Solo, too. I'm, Solo's made, uh, he's been an awesome kid to play against now, and then being four years with him and a few years as his roommates, kind of you know, proud. I was proud to see him out there, you know, almost made me tear up because just seeing his work effort and working. Has he found a new home? Has he found a new home at the Russian position? Was that was that made for him? I I hope so. I mean, it seems well, you like it, against him. Yeah, I mean, in, in spring ball he did really well. Um, and he jumped around a few times and he, he did well in all spots. So I think he's going to be a great piece for our defense this year. And it's just man, I'm I'm excited to see him play. A lot of us are. Yeah. We, we followed him all the way from high school. So truly understand. Last question: the run game. How, how does that excite you as an offensive lineman compared to pass protection? Yeah, I mean, uh, run games so much. It's more my thing, in, in my opinion, just being a smaller guy. Um, I love it more. I love getting my... my uh, smaller guy, okay. <laughs> for an old lineman, you know. Um, don't have some of the length of all these other guys, so... Run game's my thing a little bit. I love doing it. Uh, zone plays, pool plays, whatever. Uh, especially with these guys being vets, Brett and Voorhees and Jonah Court. Make it a lot easier sometimes if you uh, don't have the best get off or something. So, uh, love the run game. Uh, excited to see what we can do with this, this new playbook and new scheme in terms of in terms of run game and see, uh, see how it performs. Okay. All right, Justin, we're going to let you go because we've got other awesome. guys who want to talk to you, but let me know when you're ready to pull your next truck. All right, we'll do Either that or your next belly dive. Awesome, thank you. Thanks, guys.